Uh, John Dane Rampey, great news. Um, just to give us an insight into what he means to the club, how long this has sort of been brewing for as well. Uh, oh well, I mean he's a, he means so much to the club. He's from, he went through four drafts and wasn't drafted, and went to Melbourne to try and um, further his career. That didn't work. Came back to Sydney. We picked him up on the rookie draft. I still remember the first uh, 3K time trial he did. It was uh, outstanding. With, and um, and we put him in on our rookie list and a local boy, New South Wales boy, and uh, ever since the moment we put him in the team, he's been outstanding. Massive competitor and um, such a critical leader for this footy club on the field and off the field. Just got a great balance of when to be serious and and uh, and then has some fun along the way. You know, he's a he's a very important member of this footy club. So say, is, he seems a great example at the moment to where things are at this season, you know, they're just trying, 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 and eventually the wheel turns and that perseverance pays off. Yeah, look, he had a uh, he had a great start to the season. He was fantastic early on in the year and unfortunately hurt a nerve in his neck in the gym. Um, he's had a couple of unusual injuries over the years, Dane, um, and that was one of them where he just he went to pick up a weight um, and, you know, it was a, a nerve spasm went down his neck and he's he spent a significant period out of the team, so he's come back in the team the last two weeks and just getting back into the flow of things. And um, you know, hopefully over the next coming weeks we can see his best footy again. Injuries are sort of the, the theme this week and hopefully players coming back. Can we start with Lance? How's he doing? Yeah, look, he's OK. I mean, he did some training yesterday. We'll see how he pulls up tomorrow. Um, we have our main session tomorrow. We'll see how he goes. Um, you know, I think that you know, I've been on the record as saying we wouldn't have played him in the first half of the year as much as what we did if we'd have had some other options. We had some, you know, obviously injuries to other key forwards and, and Joel and, and Reedy and, and then you know, towards the end of that period, uh, Logan as well. So uh, we wouldn't have, it's probably cost him a little bit in the back end of the year. If we'd have been able to have some other options, we would have taken that. Um, but, you know, we've put together a program that hopefully he's able to Hopefully be, to be able to be managed in this back half of the year and come out and, and when he plays, to play some really strong good football and his knee and everything feels good. I mean, to, there's probably no way to ask this question without being disrespectful to West Coast, but where they, self-admittedly, they find themselves not in a great place at the moment. Is it easier to leave him out of a game this weekend than, say, if you were playing a, a top eight side? Not at all. Uh, if he's ready to play, we'll play him. Um, you know, it's very simple. If he's right to go, he'll be playing. I mean, he he, um, he missed last week. If his knee feels felt 100%, he'd be playing. Um, we we saw what West Coast did a couple of weeks ago against Collingwood. They within I think 14 points just before three quarter time and had virtually the same amount of inside 50s in, a, in an away game. And they'll get a number of players back in their team this week as well. So um, as we do, um, hopefully get some more players back, and um, which would be good for both teams. Two guys with concussion. Um, Isaac obviously missed last week, but yeah. then you've got Tony McCartan as well. How, how's he? How are they both tracking for this week? Yeah, they're they're going okay. So um, they've been doing a number of, a number of training sessions. Heaney, if he gets through tomorrow, will be fine. We expect to, him to be able to play if he gets through the training session. Tommy's been you know, out for a lot longer, so um, you know, hopefully he's able. He's been training, so hopefully he gets through the, the session tomorrow. Um, and feels good about that. There's um, Logan McDonald, uh, Callum Mills, another couple of players there that we were waiting on getting through training and hopefully they all pull up well. Then it's a matter of making sure that we look into their individual programs, what have they done um, over the course of the period and then uh, working out you know, how we actually fit them into the team as far as managing them on a game day after they've all had significant amount of time out. So just getting that balance right. With Tommy and obviously with his brother as well, both these concussion issues this year, just how good would it be to be, good would it be to see him back on the field? Oh, it'd be fantastic. Um, you know, he's, a, he's a key player at our team and we've just got to make sure that we, we make the decision for him that's best to get him back into the best form as what we can, as he can be in as soon as he can. Now, what that preparation looks like, he's, he's spent the last couple of weeks training, um, he's been pulling up well, which is terrific to see. We'll see how he goes again tomorrow and then make the call from there. We want him to be able to play not only uh, this week, but the back end of the year, but not only play, but play really well. So we, we've got to make the decision, you know, what we see fit to, to be able to do that in what's in Tommy's best interest. And just from a guy who's kind of the team this week, Sam Wicks, I mean, kind of must have been a really frustrating incident to watch as a coach up in the, the box for that to happen. Yeah, it was. I mean, unfortunately, um, you know, he, he copped a couple of weeks. He just jumped off the ground, probably didn't need to in the end. And it's cost him a couple of weeks in the team. So. 
how these things happen. Um, it, it's uh, you know, Sam is a, a pressure forward that you know, runs around and implies an enormous pressure on the opposition. So it's disappointing to lose him, but you know, he'll train for the next couple of weeks and hopefully get another crack in a couple of weeks. So how are all these injuries and absences affecting your focus for the rest of the season? Um, I think that you know, different teams at different times go through it, um, and you know, we've you know, we probably had sort of. You know, from last week, a number of players that were different from last year, but in the end, you, you, you deal with it, you adapt, and, uh, and make sure you put the best team forward you possibly can. And we're confident that this week we'll have a, have a strong team and, and, and um, be able to get some of that synergy going amongst the team that we're looking for. It's had a few changes every week, and, and hopefully, we could, you know, we could be able to get some stability in the team, and, um, and we think that'll help as well. Do you think you can salvage the season? Well, we want to win this week. That's the most important thing for us is, is focusing on this week and 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 really looking at um, you know, being a, a bit more consistent as we've spoken about a number of times this season. We saw Angus Sheldrick have a really good game on, on the weekend, played more on the ball. Um, what has impressed you about him so far in his sort of first couple of months of AFL? Yeah, he's a real competitor and so he, he loves competing. He, that's his that's his one wood, so he's very good at that. He's still learning the, the different styles of playing AFL footy and what's required and and um, and um, you know, but what we do know is that he goes out every week, and when he's on the ground, he competes really hard, which is a good starting point. He's very early in his career, and we've got a, a young midfield group with Warner and and um, and Gould and a few others in that group, and you know, to see him coming through has been been pleasing, and he gets a good taste of it. You mentioned it before, the, the West Coast medical staff have done you no favours this week, having four of their guys coming back headlined by Jeremy McGovern. It's not great in terms of timing. Oh well, they're good players, aren't they? They're, you know, talking about Premiership players that are, that are, that are you know, fantastic players. Hopefully, we'll get a couple of good ones back as well, and um, and we can go into the game and, and look forward to a good contest. After the game uh, against the Lions, you mentioned discipline again as a theme. Mm. Just wondering, it's obviously not something they're doing intentionally. Like, how how do you, if it's a recurring theme, how do you go about changing? Behaviour is it messaging? Is it? It just seems a, a tricky one to curtail. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's different. You know, a couple of times it's been just you know, young young players getting the position on the mark wrong, um, so they've just stood at the wrong spot. You know, the week before we gave away two fifties in the last quarter just by getting our positioning on the mark wrong. On the weekend, uh, we had a you know a couple of fifties against. One was from Sam's incident that was reported, and we just didn't get the ball back. So we've just got to be a bit sharper in those instances and try and be making sure that we, you know, we're, we're mentally sharp to be able to not give away those free kicks and when, they, when you get a, a little bit under fatigue is making sure you keep your concentration up. So um, that's what we've been talking to the players about. Speaking of getting free kicks, obviously there's been a little bit of talk about players purposefully flopping to try and kind of take advantage of the tackle crackdown. Do you believe that's something that is a widespread problem? Oh, I think it's something to keep an eye on. I think it's, um, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully that's not a not a trend that, that, that sticks around. I think just keep an eye on it. I think the competition will keep an eye on that, and hopefully it's not something that's that um, stands out. It's, it's hard to prove, um, but hopefully it's not something that stands out. You sort of mentioned the, the West Coast and before about how they haven't been playing as well this year. But can you draw on kind of the rivalry between these two teams as a way to, to stop and make sure the guys aren't complacent going into this weekend? I didn't mention that. Well, it's not so much about the rivalry. It's just about um, understanding what they're capable of, of, of doing. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're capable of playing some good footy. A couple of weeks ago, we saw that. Um, they had a, a lot of outs, a lot of late outs. A couple of times, you know, they've been ravaged by injury, um, which has impacted them. And they get some Premiership players back this week. So. I think we just look at that and just, OK, what's in front of us this week is these players that are coming back, their team in general, what they're able to do against Collingwood um, and, and put that in the mix and, and, and understand what we're coming up against, but also focusing on what we need to do. That's really important. Just um, with the cycle of injuries you've had, the, the ups and downs and the flow of this season for your team, where does this sit in the sort of how hard this season has been coaching wise throughout your time here and the challenges that it's presented? Although well, every every season has a different challenge. You know, we went through COVID for a couple of years and that was you get a phone call and have to be in the airport in three hours. Um, and, and we had four players uh, taken out of the team half an hour before the game. All these type of challenges have come up after you've been in the game a long time. You, you understand that you know, every season is a different journey and, and this has been a bit different than some others but in some ways the challenges are similar so you, 
um, you deal with what the cards that are put in front of you. And um, you know, our challenge now is to make sure we get our players, the ones that are coming back, get that balance right and get them in as good a form as they possibly can. And hopefully that really helps the team in the back end of the year.